This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to discuss working with Smart Guides. If you'd like to follow along, go to File Open, and in the Sample Files folder, go down to 0405, Working Smart with Smart Guides, and just click Open. I already have an object drawn on this page. It's a two and a half inch square, which you can see indicated in the width and height fields in the control panel. Before we get started, though, let's make sure that your smart guides are active. I could go under my view menu to grids and guides and just make sure that smart guides is selected, which it is. It has a check mark next to it. But I could also turn smart guides on and off in the view options in the application bar you can see smart guides is also checked there now we're ready to begin go to your rectangle tool and then underneath that top square starting from the left margin just click and drag and you can see when i got to the center of that top object a smart guide popped up to let me know that i'm lined up with the center of that object if I continue dragging across, I'm going to get arrows underneath each one of these objects indicating that they are exactly the same width. And I'm going to continue dragging down. When I get to the center of the page, smart guides are letting me know that I'm lined up with the center of the page. I'm going to continue dragging down. And when this new object is exactly the same height as the object above, I see arrows indicating to the right of each one of these objects that they're exactly the same height. I'm going to let go. Let me draw yet another object, another square. Same width, and also the same height. But what about the distance between the objects? Let me go to my selection tool. If I click and drag on an object, you can see I'm getting its x, y coordinates. But let me start dragging up. At a certain point, when the gaps between the objects are the same, you'll see arrows indicating that. So there's an equal amount of space between the objects. But let me go to my Rotate tool. And rotating from the center, I'm going to click and drag on one of these corners. And there's a little pop-up giving me the number of degrees. When I get to minus 35, I'm going to let go. Go back to my selection tool and click on another one of these squares. Go back to my rotate tool and click and drag on a corner. And when it gets to 35, minus 35 degrees, you can see angles over the top of both of these objects letting me know that they're rotated exactly the same amount. Okay, let me clear the rotation on all of these objects. I'm just going to select everything and go under the Options menu to clear transformations. And you can see we're back to where we started. But what else can I do? Let me make some duplicates of these selected objects. I'm going to click on the centers of the objects while holding down my Option or Alt key and just drag across and line it up with the margins. Now I'm going to zoom in real close. I'm going to go to my Zoom tool and just zoom in close. And scroll over just a little bit so that I can't see the other objects that are further to the left. And I'm going to select just one of these objects and just click and drag. And I'm going to see various smart guides going up and down the page. But if I drag back up to my margin, I'm not seeing any smart guides going across the page. Well, why is that? With smart guides, you know the old saying, out of sight, out of mind. Well, if you can't see an object, Smart Guides will not align to it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to drag over just a little bit so we can see this other square. 
And now I'm going to click on the center point and ah, now that I can see that other square, I have smart guides letting me know that the top, the center, and the bottom across the page as well as down the page are aligned perfectly. So smart guides can help you align objects very quickly to set up your layout very efficiently. We're going to be talking more about working with objects in the next lesson.